For our first interview of the show, we couldn't have gotten a better person, and we are truly honored to have him. This man has served in the U.S. military, has almost 1,100 wins, over 19,000 kills, a 1.7 kill death ratio, and he is one of Warzone's best strategists. He is a consummate team player and embodies what the SGG show is all about. Someone that we've known for two years. Please welcome the often imitated, but the never duplicated, the one, the only, Mike Golf. Let's go. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me, guys. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Yeah, man. Thanks for being here. Uh, on behalf of both of us, we really just want to thank you for being a part of the show. Uh, we know you're a busy man, and we really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to join us. Absolutely. So, uh, going back, way back, I guess, uh, we, we met on Battlefield Five originally. Uh, I guess met is kind of a weird way to put it. It was mostly uh, you just kicking our ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, so, uh, running around uh, Firestorm on Battlefield Five uh, is that is that uh, kind of what got you into the battle royale genre? And uh, if so, uh, what draws you to uh, BR games versus other game formats? Well, I it, my first BR was Fortnite. I played the the first couple seasons of that, but then it wasn't about skill anymore. It was about your building skill, like how quickly you could build. So that got old quick. Um, so I kind of went back into playing Battlefield uh, multiplayer, and then oh, here comes Firestorm, and we we're like, yeah. we were looking forward to it for a long time, and then once that dropped, we just fell in love, man. Uh, our group, the Door Kickers. So um, I really like the competitive competitiveness of the battle royales and like how they play, and your your our goal is to win. Right. So yeah. when when you get that win, it's so satisfying. You're four people out of 150. Uh, well, on Firestorm, it was like 60 or whatever. Yeah, 64. It, it, yeah, 64. Yeah. Um, but it, like it's so hard to win. So it's just so satisfying to mm -hmm. actually win those games and like play as a team. No, oh, for sure. It's uh, it's it's what uh, drew me in personally as well. Like I had no idea what a a BR was I didn't even play the Fortnites or anything like that and then when Firestorm came out originally I didn't I wasn't a fan of it to be honest with you because I didn't understand what what the objectives kind of were I kind of treated it like conquest and I kept getting disappointed and then I watched some videos on YouTube about it and was like oh that's what it is this is this is pretty cool and then it was I just you know I can't play anything else <laughs> yeah just, uh so so in saying that is uh is the br format kind of what drew you into the streaming world is that why you started to stream yourself actually um i i was playing a lot uh with like socal and you know yeah. these guys outlaw and harley and he's the main probably the main deciding factor of why i started streaming you know if i'm putting all these hours into the game if, if I can maybe get a little bit of revenue, you know, and feel good about myself for 5,000 yeah. hours mm -hmm. played or whatever. <laughs> Amen. Um, <but laughs> and, and, and now, now it's it's turned into, I have a great community. I have you people do. watching me every day. They look forward to, you know, my notifications going live. They come in mm -hmm. right away, you know, see how I'm doing, you know, people from all over the world. And, and so now, uh, like, I, I reinvested. I, I, I bought a computer. You know, yeah. my, my my first three months or four months streaming, I saved all my money, all the donations, and and now I have this setup right here. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that kind of helped me out as as well. Nice, nice. So now you you stream on Twitch. It's um, uh, Twitch TV backslash Mike Golf. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. And and what days, hours? What do? Where, when do? You, when are you streaming? It's pretty much just when it's convenient for me. Right now, I'm going to school for welding. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, if I have a school day, then you know I'm probably going to stream in the afternoon. But if I'm off school, then I'm probably going to start in the morning sometime. So, but I, I try to stream something every day, just continually put out content some is good some uh, others is maybe questionable but uh you know uh, whatever no, yeah. no absolutely oh. um so now one of those things uh, so i I'm, I'm one of the ones that uh get your notifications i love it i check it out every time it comes up 
And I noticed the other day on, it was uh, two Sundays ago, um, you or maybe a Sunday ago, you do a sub Sunday. What, tell us all about that. What is that? Yeah, so sub Sunday is like my way to give back to the community. Um, and it's actually turned out to be one of my best days uh, as wow. far as like views go and uh, revenue goes um and people like to get involved right they want to play with me like a lot of the times i I don't play with people but that's Mm -hmm. their opportunity for people in the chat to play with me and then as people are in chat they see oh this is this is mickey dunn talking this is dodgy this is more or whoever and then once they're in the squad they hear their voice and so they yeah. can kind of visualize who that person is. Oh, Judgy has a great Scottish accent. Mickey <laughs> is an Irish lad. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, Zamora lives in Texas. So, I mean, just we're, we're bringing people from all over the world mm-hmm. together to play and we get some wins. We actually got Zamora's first win on uh, Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Man. <laughs> I, That's bet, crazy. I, bet, I bet they were pretty stoked about that one. <laughs> Oh, he, yeah. he was live on ecstatic. stream. Yeah, yeah. Yep. you can't ask for anything better than that, dude. For your first yeah. Warzone win, I right. don't think you can. No, no, that's awesome. It was it was pretty cool. Like I I actually got a chance, man. Speaking yeah. of like the notifications, dude, they work for me anyway. Like I woke up one morning, it was a Sunday, got that notification, jumped in the chat, saw you were looking for people to game with. I at that point I didn't really even know it was a sub Sunday. I, I thought you were just like, oh yeah, see if somebody wants to play. And then I was like, you know, following along. I was like, oh, this is an actual event. Like, this is the Stub Sundays. I was like, so I was like, hell yeah. Like, let's go. I'll run some. And uh, we squatted up, ran, I don't know, four or five games. And uh, honestly, dude, it was some of the most fun I've had playing the game in like a long time. Like, we we were running as a unit. Like, the way, the style that you guys play, like the cohesive teamwork, like everybody has the same goal in, in mind, like the selflessness, like, it's hard to find a group of people that are willing to do that. And like playing with you and your buddies there, like it was, Oh man, I didn't want it to stop to be, I was honestly, I, well, I didn't want it to stop, but honestly I was exhausted because after two hours of playing at that intensity, if you're not used to it, like personally it's, it's mentally taxing, but I love it. It's my favorite style to play battle rail by far. So before we get into your thoughts on, uh, on how to win and, and squad play, what are your thoughts on the rollout of the, the Warzone nuke event? And what's your take on the new additions to the map? I think they took entirely too long to bring out that nuke event. <laughs> I mean, for, for like three weeks there, you know, you got this thing flashing on your screen. Oh, containment level four. You know, it's Absolutely. so loud. You could be in Gulag, like trying to, you know, sound whore. Or like, you know, see where footsteps are, you're in a yep. firefight, and that pops up, and it's so loud. Um, but when they did finally bring it out, it, it it's it's visually much better. It plays better. I like that they added some new buildings. Uh, the whole dam is gone now. Now mm-hmm. it's Summit, and yep. I actually, we got a, a win from that middle building in summit where the only way up is the the two, the two gondolas or the, uh, the ascent. Yeah. We got a win there. We just dominated from that position, but we did our homework. Um, you know, Mm -hmm. we, we got flags. We knew it was going to end there and we got there early with plate boxes, uh, ammo boxes, self revs. Everybody has a strike and we ended up winning. So that's, that's one of the things for me that I enjoy so much about the BR is the strategy. Hey, this is what we have to do to win. We have kind of a, I, I think you got, you had said it like a blueprint to win. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we do. And that's, that's what draws me in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and speaking of that, so, so now when, 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 when you get into a battle Royale game, what, like what type of players might go? I mean, are you a kill race player, uh, a team player in the context of, I just care about the dub. I'll sit for 20 minutes and camp if I have to. What What is it? Who is Mike Golf as a, as a Warzone player? Uh, I'm playing to win, okay? <laughs> so if that means we got to make $40,000 to get loadout and um, uh, the foresight, which you can't get anymore, but – and then go to that building second circle. If we win that game, we won that game, right? So I'm playing to win. I could care less if I'm, if I win the game and have one kill. Hey, I won. 
Yeah. I don't I don't need 10 kills. Yep, I don't need 20, 20 kills because time and time again, and I've, I like playing for kills, uh, you know, yeah, sometimes know. Sure. With, with, with people, but we're not going to win that game, you know, or mm -hmm. like the chances of winning that game are like a lot less, like they're yep. drastically reduced. If you're just going fight to fight, sometimes you got to break contact and, and no position is everything in these battle royales. So you got, you have to, be, if you're not in position by fourth circle, you're going to die or you're going to lose somebody. Um, so the chances of you winning that game are just, they're drastically reduced. So I'm playing to win all the door kickers. So Cal, these guys, they all play to win. So absolutely. Yeah. No. And, and speaking of that, cause I, I, I played with you guys yesterday, um, had the opportunity to sit down, run about four hours worth of it. Um, and, and one of the things I noticed, and this was, this was so interesting was how you guys move together. The squad play. The squad play is phenomenal. Um, and I'll just give the viewers an example of, of one specific time. We were on the factory roof building. You and I were killing two guys over by the electronic store. Um, I was sniping and, and sniping, and you were uh, using your, I think it was your stoner, was it, or the Bren, or Bruin, Bruin. A Amex. I was Amex. actually running the Amex yesterday. Okay. So you're lasering them. You're pointing them out to me, and I'm, and I'm just downing them. He's down. He's down. And then all of a sudden, um, uh, Benji was getting gunfire, and everybody moved all the way to him. I'm still back sniping. Cal's like, get back here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I run back. And then we have to jump off the building. It's time to move. Cal points a mark, and I jump off. You three jump off at the exact same spot at the exact same time without anybody saying jump. I'm late on the jump, and I'm 10 or 15 meters to the left, and I'm getting told, don't do that. We're over here. <laughs> I look up to my left, and I'm exposed. How, there's two questions here, and I'm just setting that, that up for everybody to understand the, this scenario. Number one, how do you guys work together as a squad that well? I mean, it's, 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 like, it's like a well-oiled machine. And then it's number like two, watching artwork. Absolutely. Yeah. And then number two, how, because when we left, we were going to that point. We ended up at that exact same point, but you took a different route. And why? Okay, so we we play that way hundreds of thousands of hours playing with each other. Maybe, maybe not thousands, but hundreds of hours playing with the, uh, uh, each other. We all have the same goal. We know what is what. We've made these mistakes before. Yeah, you said you're, you're 10 to 15 meters, and probably 15 is even ex an exaggeration. You're literally 10, 10 meters to the left, but you... The left was the center of the circle. We're trying to go on the outside of the circle, and there was a wall there. Mm -hmm. And so we know you can get lasered from that left. So if you have an opportunity to go on the outside of the wall, which we did, um, we're going to take that. And you haven't play, been play, or played with us uh, as much. You didn't know that. Uh, you can get lasered. There's a high probability you can get lasered from like police roof. There, there's two other roofs there. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and and that was a, a defining moment of what separates. And, and just as for the viewers, that was a defining moment for me in my head. What separates the great players from the average players? Because mm -hmm. we all went to the same spot. We're all going to the same spot. But the angles were different. The timing was different. The movement with you guys was on one level, and I was on a second level. And it really, really opened up. And it was after that that I realized watching you guys when we do this that we need to – I need to start following a little bit better in the context of understanding what you guys were doing. And I think we ended up getting three in a row after that game. We, we did. Yeah. We did. It's uh, for me, like I've been watching you guys stream now for quite some time. Same with Farilla. And like, honestly, it's it's amazing to watch you guys work as a unit and not not to say your comms aren't on point because your comms are also next level. Like your the way you guys communicate to each other effectively and efficiently, like it's it's unbelievable. But you guys literally play off each other's body language and you know what how the other person's going to interpret a situation without even having to talk. 
like you're all seeing the same things the same way you, you like anything that happens you know how your counterparts are going to react without even having to ask and that's like that's pretty cool man because like i've played in a lot of different squads and some better than others but the one thing that we're always lacking is is that ability to read each other's body language when we're playing yeah, yeah. and and that comes with like i said hours and hours and hours of playing together you know yeah. and having the same same goals like we yeah. want to win and we've we've made those mistakes before i've gotten lasered at that same place for a while, <laughs> right? right but now i know hey go on the opposite <laughs> side of the wall right mm -hmm. so yeah so you, you gotta you gotta make those mistakes and just try to try to be better there's so many factors in these battle royales so many things have to go right so many decisions uh for for you to win and um so it, yeah. it's just tough man and so let me ask you this just to, just to summarize this or not really but how how would you recommend to any viewer how to develop that squad i mean we all you know we all have that our friends list right i've got you know 250 i'm sure you've got 500 but how do you recommend getting that cohesiveness and how would you select a squad so that our viewers can get those dubs? Um, I think you, you just got to meet good people and then all have the same goals. Like we, we, we keep saying that, but it, it's true. Everybody in the door kickers, we we want to win, right? We're gonna do whatever it takes to win, and we do. Cal's number eight in the world. I'm like top five hundred and ten. Outlaws, you know, top five hundred. You know, so yeah, like you just gotta find good people and you know keep it small you don't need to play with 400 people you know because then you start getting people that haven't played with the other person their call outs are different right so if you mm -hmm. just play with a small group everybody knows the call out hey hotel roof red bar you know uh ihop whatever it is you know big blue um so that's it, it's hard to find those people but when you do you got you got to keep them in the group no, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, well said. And one of the things I noticed, uh, and you've touched on this on uh, through our conversations uh, over over the last uh, little bit, was the unselfishness of the team. You know, one of the things I noticed, and, and still is like this, I'm to it to a fault. <laughs> I'll give up anything. I just don't care. But um, one of the things I noticed is you you had a ton of cash on you one time. I was short on plates. You needed a selfie, and you for go you would forwent the selfie and bought stacks of plates for everybody mm -hmm. you know so that everybody had that in there what is that mentality um and how can that translate into squad play like what how important is that it, it, it's it's very important because i played with people you get done a firefight guys negative three and the other guy has eight plates and he's not dropping plates for the guy. Like what, what is going on? Like <laughs> yeah. you, you got, you got to think about how are we going to win? Everybody needs to share the resources, right? So if one person gets a satchel, he can drop three plates for the guy who doesn't have a satchel or what, whatever it is. Um, so it, it's very important to play with people like that. And like, just, people people like to do their own thing right yeah. if if you don't have a group like that so maybe this guy's like oh i want to grab this bounty or i want to push this team and then he gets lasered and then you're you're playing buyback and buy new guns so mm -hmm. it, if you have those people that are willing to do what it takes and be be selfless mm -hmm. like that uh you're you're gonna be in a lot better spot to win games Awesome. For sure. The, the way I kind of look at that too is like, we've talked about this before. Um, you're not doing anyone, you're not doing yourself, sorry, any favors by holding on to resources or being selfish. You're only, Im you're only impacting yourself down the road because let's say that guy that's negative three uh, and you only drop him three plates. He's, he's got none. Well, let's say you get in a fight 30 seconds from there and all of a sudden he's down. And you've got to make a decision now to go either revive him or le let him die. Both of them kind of suck because one takes you out of the fight. The other one's going to cost you four grand plus 10 grand when you get him back on the loadout. 
and uh, it could have been solved by dropping five plates because maybe he gets right. broken, ducks, replates, and is able to get out of there or defend himself or buy you some time to come help him. It, it's honestly, the way I look at it is, is if everybody has a fair shake uh, in whatever the impending fight is, you're personally going to be better off in, in, at, when the when it's all said and done, right? Yeah, I like so. I, I like how you use that that example. If guys negative three, if you drop them five plates in, instead of three, that 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 that's that's critical, mm. right? Yeah. And it's easy for me to have ten grand, um, go buy a self rev, a cluster, and a gas mask for a circle, but the next guy doesn't have a anything he doesn't have a self rev he doesn't have a uh, a strike he doesn't have a gas mask maybe he mm -hmm. doesn't even have plates but if you're spending that money in the squad wisely and sharing resources you're, yeah. uh, you're going to be in a better position awesome. no doubt awesome all right man well let's uh, let's see what we can do with all this uh, this knowledge here let's uh, let's jump into a game and we'll get you to take the lead you'll make all the calls pick the drop the contracts rotations everything to do with the game and uh, we'll do our best to try to keep up and not drag you down. No promises, but uh, it'll be our best effort. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right. All right let's get it. It's just sick because yeah. you can literally see the welds. It's pretty, like, it's so detailed. Yep. All right. Uh, let's try to maybe grab this. Copy. Let's get it. There's two of them I'll there. Take it. Battle Royale. Full set. Gas is approaching your position. Move to yep. the safe zone. Okay. Well, if we were in quads, I guess we would just sacrifice one for the betterment of the group, but um, it doesn't work in trios as well with the three boxes, eh? Yeah. What's it look like? You guys, uh, any, uh, any I, eyes? I can't see it. I can't, I have not known of it. Above you guys yeah. is holding to give us, uh, I knowledge. got nothing but, behind uh, you guys. Yeah, I don't, They I could don't be in front of us. Contested. Yeah. I'm going in front door. On this, and I'm gonna go right up top to get it. Floor, I'm gonna go, yep. Yeah, I'm coming in on the top of it. Alright, lads, let's get it done. We got it. Supply box located. Nice. Move to secure. So far, no contact. I got two weapons. I got two. Yep. Let's uh, let's loot this efficiently and quickly. Yep. Moving to you. We can grab another scab and then we can get a flag. Copy. I am combat effective if we need to be. Ah, uh, we got. Uh, really need to play. We got uh, two hundred. Uh, no, I got one. Uh, front side about 200 meters, uh, in front of us. We're grabbing, uh, this box here. Contract updated. New objective identified. Enemy dropping into Enemy the Enemy in the AO. Enemy soldier incoming. I see him. No plate here. He's no plates, no plates. He's going to get that other scav that was here probably. Or it's gone now. Another team must have picked it up. They must have fought over it. Six. Objectives yep. updated. Move to the next location. We're gonna have contact in 30 seconds here. I guarantee it. Good. Slap plates in. I help. Doors open on green. Uh, let's Move it. Here, for a left. Drop your, drop your guns real quick. Or your cash. I'll get guns. Oh fuck. Contact ahead, 100 meters, shots yeah. shots being fired. Earth a truck up there. I'm gonna try to get these guns real quick. Yeah, throw them, maybe throw them back here. Yep. Guns out. Move them, Mark. Copy guns. That's gonna, every, that's gonna sound like an elephant running through a china shop. Oh my god, it oh. killed me! Oh. It what? Killed you now? I thought they got rid of yeah. that! Ooh, I just got sniped. So I, no I know I just got popped up. Win they here and you return to the front they got rid of that you last time. They must have put it back. You're up, soldier. Satchel. 
Now go sort yeah, this fucker out. I, I have one. <laughs> Another satchel. On any comms if Two I can get it. Here. Coming back. There's no there in this Wow. All right, if you guys don't mind, give me 30 seconds to gear up, and then we'll take care of business. Yep. Copy. Yeah, honestly, I don't give a shit about those guys unless we need to kill them. I can't believe that just happened. Can I safely do that? Oh yeah. All right, which floor was it on? Downstairs, uh, back left in the little copy. Copy, got it. All right, let's get out of here. All right. That's just got pulled. All right. Yep, there I'll be by you UAV real quick. Uh, yep. We're in the safe zone. Watch for enemies. Friendly UAV overhead. One individual. All right, let's go kill this guy. Move it. Yep. Disregard my last. He's on, he's on, he's in IHOP, yeah. He's inside it. Yep. Ow. Nice. Copy. Good kill. Alright. Uh, 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 we can grab this flag over here. Copy. Hey, anyone need it? I can't believe that happened. Well, <laughs> holy moly! Move to the next area. Build the perimeter. Ready. I just found a bunch of that. money. Two minutes and thirty seconds. Yep. Yep. Let's uh, maybe go get uh, selfies or. Uh... Yep. Copy. Moving. Well, uh, Mike, up here. Still, you got uh, two grand for Mike. I do. Actually, Mike, do you want to do the money exchange uh, before we get there? Yep. Copy. This shed looks like it'll work. Perfect. Yep. All right, we'll hit this buy station and then we'll. Uh... Yep. Scanning. No signs of anyone yet. Just maybe go one at a time. I'm covering That's the street. Clear. Enemy UAV okay. overhead. We just run UAV. Enemy UAV. We're getting overhead. shot from across the way at airport. Not that. Yeah. Oh, Tarmac. over there. Yeah. He's broken. I'm broken. He's down. Copy. I'm gonna go buy a strike, maybe. Oh, I got, I, I got off. Uh, there's. Yep. He's off to the right. One behind the tree. One to the right of that. About 25, 30 meters. Are they pushing? Still behind that rock. No, they're they're not pushing. Oh Jacob wow! Fire. Ouch! I'm down. I'm down by now, starting myself, taking time. Nice down. Down one, down one. Can I get a tab? I got him. I got him. I've got you! Thank you. We need to just, uh, what are we, what's the play here? We got one bit here. Um, Gentlemen. just getting shot down. Broke one. He's white He's health. down. Yep. I'm gonna get a strike. Yeah. Strike out. This is Striker 3 1. Good job. Back in, Ben. Yep. Another one. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. We need to decide what we're doing with that. Are we leaving that? I think for the betterment of the. Yeah. Moving. Yep. 
For the betterment yeah, of the I game, I think we leave that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go do the flag. No, no, there's no. three dead, or two down. There's only one left. And one dead. No, yeah, they're gone. I got two kills. Yep. Oh, okay. I lost all the plates, so I have one yep. plate left. I'm negative one. I got four, I'll drop you two. I'll drop uh, one and two. Hopefully something comes out of this. Yep, there's one. Two. Body on the here. Uh, Recon intel go. secure. Nice, nice, Solid nice. work. Good job, everybody. I all can right. buy a stack as well. Yeah, we're going to need right. to do that. We, we need to go up hey, early. Okay. Hey, yeah, I think we got to get the hell out. Do we want our uh, ghost loady, or are we gonna leave that? Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna have to get ghosts and then go up in the lake. I'm gonna buy plates at this five station real quick. Got two boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna get some boots real quick. They're scoping again, but from very far away on the backside of airport, towards my blue uh, mark, but way up. past. Yep, seen. Probably going to the buy. One individual. In one individual. All right, I'm buying the plates. And yeah, me too. Up. Moving. Frilla, how many plates do you have? Are you going? Okay. I'm covering. Mike, you're on your own for a sec. Uh, they're parachuting back onto their stuff. Okay, we gotta go quick, Frilla. All right, let's up. move, 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 move. We're in the state zone. Watch your friends. We're going up. Copy. Moving. Uh -uh. All right. Hey, anyone need it? Copy. Oh, we get... <laughs> Vehicle down on the main street below us. Was it this flag, Mike? Hey, anyone, yeah. hey, anyone needs it? Yep. I'm watching the right side as we push up. How is everyone doing on ammo? I'm 70 back up for AR. Uh, I've got 210, I'll drop you. I'll drop a sack for each of you. Um, okay. 60 would be, you 60 you would be great. 120? Oh, 120. I thought you said 20. Thanks, Frilla. Not looted. I'm not necessarily worried about looting. I'm worried Copy. About trying to get this I just found a bunch of money. Oh, this is looted down here. On your left, I'm left on your left side, Mike. Uh, five meters. Move to the next area and secure the perimeter. Okay, moving. Coming. And yo, somebody wait here and pull this flag. Moving. Steel, you wait. Copy. Girl and I will go cap this. Copy. As soon as we we get it done, I'll pull pull that other flag. Copy. Slide cancel works about 50% of the time. 50% of the time works all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we love you, Mike. Not because of your brain and your tacti tactics. It's it's that. <laughs> I love Mike. I, 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 I love it. Contract complete. Recon intel right. secure. Hey, anyone need this? Objective it's on me. Secure right. that position. Yep, we'll go cap that, then we'll spend some money and buy. Yep. And we'll get in position. Yep. Four so what, when do you need to have all your work here. done? Yeah, okay, so that's it, right? By four circle. Yep, we need to be in position by four circle. Nice. 
I love that. That's the blueprint, man. Can't argue it. Uh, I love my slide cancel. It's beautiful. This is a very exposed FYI from the far left. Your right, I guess, coming to me. Doing this one? Yeah. Okay. One, one more. One more. We need to go. Objective updated. Secure that position. Spy station. Just closing in. We're gonna have to hit this spy station. Sentry here. You need to quit guard my lap. So our our main goal right now is to get this flag done and get everybody alive to that end circle. Get to the top right? And we yeah. all need to have self strikes, maybe a play box. Heck, we could buy another loadout for backup if we needed to right now. <laughs> or should we just keep buyback money? Because we're gonna have enough for. Uh, does any? First of all, do you guys have any of those items already? We all have selves. Recon intel secured. I need to get a cluster and the gas mask. Okay. That's where we're full sending out of here. We're going to the buy station. Copy that. Moving. I'll take it. So if we, if, we, to get there. if we had the option, would you take uh, a vehicle? Because I have a trophy, or would you rather walk to go to get there kind of undetected? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather try to go on foot. Copy. We could, like, take this bird, but then you're just showing up on the menu map for everybody. Exactly, yep. Makes sense to me. So I noticed, um... Uh, we talked about like how, like when to complete the caps and like how to how to structure all that. Like, so what's the benefit of tipping of uh, tipping the flare off and then waiting and then capping it after the circle closes? So if you if you have to wait two minutes for the circle to close for that cap, you want to run over and send the flare up, and then you're on security. You're not capping it. So if you're once that flare goes up, everybody sees it, right? So yep. people full send that. So if you need to wait that two minutes, put the flare up, full security for the two minutes, and then uh, when you go back over it, it won't shoot back up like when you go to uh, cap it. That makes total sense. That, that, yeah, that's that's. Uh, right. we need an ammo box. Do we need an ammo box? I need a little cash if we got any. Yeah. Here. I'm getting an ammo box. Okay. Getting the precision to the sniper. Yep. Equipment. I've already, and I've got a precision as well. All right, let's go. We Looks like there's ten. people in the circle, or close to it. Move it. Yep. We, we want to be over here. There, there's v this guy in the house. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB right. for resupply. Do no, we want to move we gotta it go now, or do up, we want to wait? Man, we got to go up, up left. Copy up right. left. Look, 27 left. What, 12 teams. Someone just fell in, in front of us. Gas is inbound. Marking you yep, they're right, getting contact. So look, they're they're fighting over there. We got people down in this house down here below us. We yep. want to be on the back side right here. Move and we're Copy. Okay. Copy that. We just got to make sure we don't get run up on, Copy, run. on those, these guys in the house right here. Okay. Or on the high side. Yep. I got a bit of a glitch uh, going on. Got a bit of a piece. Um, what what you right. build out on your PC, Mike? Real quick. Um, I got a i9. Uh, wait, is it an i9? No. Contact right here. I, I see him. I see seven. Bottom four window. Ten nine nine K. Twenty sixty super. Yep. One up top and one below. Yep. Oh, Mark. All right. You, you guys deal with that. I'll we'll make sure we don't get run up on the on the right. Copy. Those guys aren't gonna leave that house. I'm not particularly worried right now about them. I'll just watch them. You guys take care of that. Bertha? Contact! Not sure what his intentions are. Just waiting. They're pushing the house. We're in the Maybe? safe zone. Watch for enemies. Nope. Peeled off. No, they. Oh, they're there. They got out. Yep. They got out. Maybe they got a bounty on those guys. Who knows? Are we shooting? Yeah. 
You've got contact, Mike? He's, he's in that house. Okay. Really, you just gotta keep an eye on that to put, put the work in as needed. They blew yeah, up the Bertha, so that's two teams. I'm gonna kind of float between you guys. He's down, the guy's down. Another one down. Do you want an airstrike? Nope, he's inside. Copy. What do you got, Mike? Just shooting this guy in the window. I only saw does the any, one. Does anybody got any extra sniper? Not uh, I'll hold mine. Here, 16. He's not sniping, though. Um, yeah, I know, but that I... ammo box. You want to do it now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, ammo out. I'm gonna make a cache right here. Spotted mid caliber here. Looking for 17. Did not get my kill. Copy. So they're still in that building, and I did not get my kill. Most wanted on the map, Bertha. Looking for 14. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. We've got the numbers. All right, so so those people got to exit that house. When they do, laser them. All right? Oh. And our next move is going to be right here. Moving. Copy, Copy next move. Friendly loadout drop on the way. I'm waiting to laser them. I guess we got, I guess we got a bit of a bit of a wait, but Yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, we put ourselves in a position to win this game. Yep. Let's clutch it's all out. That's what now. it's all about, right? Yep. Yep. Buyback. Green mark. Moving. Ping. Disregard my last. We've got two boxes that I can see on our loadout. One in an enemy. We got a Bertha. Going to Lodi. Contact! Are they moving, Mike? Closing in. Nope. Copy. I'm, I'm watching. You guys watching. Get... What was that? I Mike? got what contact. Uh, Live mark. Enemies in the area. Hundred meter. Hundred plus meters. You guys are move, move right there, uh, right now, and watch that building. Copy. Disregard my last. Bertha behind coming us. down the main, up behind us, yep. I'm gonna let him go if I can. Nope, okay. Most wanted finished. Those guys on our left are gonna hear these shots and think they can move. Yep, hard scope from this window. Move it! Disregard my last. He's broken. I didn't Get see the mark. Get for those guys coming out of that yep. house. Yep. I just wanted to pull him off so that that son of a bitch couldn't get at me while I'm... Yep. I'm ready to laser. They should be coming out. Why are they not coming out? Oh. Oh, yeah, they exit. Safe zone relocation. They could have and we could have missed it for sure. They might have went out the back door okay. and, and went left, but... Disregard my last. Alright, we're looking for 4 and 12. Yep. It's all teams of 3. Yep. Oh, I got sniped oh, from the fire. left! Below! Yeah, That's in that you. window. In that window, dog. They clustered. They missed. Successfully. Yep. When do we need to get that yeah, plate? Oh, right, 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 right. I can't go through. I burned myself. I'm burning, I'm burning, Mike. We, get, we have people to our left. I'm gonna smoke our right. I, I airstruck them. I airstruck them. They're moving. They're moving up to you, full team. I like go back, go back. They're on the smoke. Oh, I couldn't move. Oh, wait, there's another team right there. Damn. Yeah, that's what I try to smoke them. Damn it. Damn. Nice try, nice try. Good play. That was good. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. So, uh, so, Mike, what, what, what happened there? Like, what was your take on, uh, you know, just that overall game and then uh, also the final count of what happened? I think we we did really good. We got in the, the position to win it, but I, I think Steele said it best right there. He, he got, I had called that sniper out probably 30 seconds previously, hard scoped uh -huh. in the window down there. I even live pinged him 
and then he went down. We had to rev, and then we got ran up on from the right. So, yep. uh, I mean, uh, other than that, we did our homework. We we all had cells. We all had strikes. We had plate box, ammo box. So I, I think we did well in that aspect. But um, we just you just got to be a, a little more vigilant. The, the game's about, about seconds, right? So yeah. Yeah. you're just trying to stay alive. I remember um, you. I remember you saying I sniper in the window, and I was I could I didn't see the mark. I was like I I didn't didn't can't copy the mark. And then I was looking. And I, for some reason, I thought that you were marking um, uh, the building that Frilla and I were watching. And, but now it totally makes sense. It was down towards the buy station, right? Yep. 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 And I think yep. that's, I, I, I mean, just from an analytical standpoint, I think that's kind of, number one, playing together, right? Playing, understanding yep. where, where people I should have asked you to remark it. Um, you know, because I, I had sniped him just to give us cover so we can move. I wanted to bust him up, get him out of the window, so we can move to that to, to yep. your higher rock. Um, and uh, without the communication or the understanding, the communication was there, but the understanding, and that's where we talked about earlier, Mike. And, and, and I want your take on this, uh, or uh, on your on my thought here, is that's where it's playing together, right? Like knowing where somebody's coming at, um, and in in regardless of the ping, ping is there or not, the marks there, because had still yep. known where he was, he would have never went there. I mean knowing still he didn't understand it so so right again yeah. your take on i, I totally missed it yeah. and i didn't take the time to ask you to clarify which i should have it, it, it's it's my fault for not clarifying that because yeah. you obviously identified him to a t you even live marked him but i was like i don't know what i was doing obviously i should have been on for one paying closer attention to what you well, were trying to tell us and two if i still didn't get it i need to ask because it's, it's important because stuff like that just happens if you uh, not everyone's on the same page yeah but you guys like had multiple jobs so to speak so you're trying to deal with that sniper in the window there was guys we thought were still in that house so you're trying to watch the house as the gas comes so uh, there's yeah. a lot of responsibility but um yeah that's one thing i guess i take for granted playing with these guys is the ability um to to understand these call outs and like what it, what it means absolutely um, absolutely yep. and one thing i did want to ask sure. you like um uh as we're wrapping this up but i did want to ask you so you served in the military um and one of the things i've noticed is your comms and what you talked about what about your 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 tactics location how does serving in the military if it does at all does it impact your game style, your gameplay, and, and your communication? Uh, yeah, definitely the communication aspect, um, because you know, having served in the military, you know, you need clear, concise comms, right? Yeah. And the guys we play with know that as well, um, and so that that definitely helped me out. But um, yeah, awesome, awesome. Well, I, you know, I, I do want to thank you for your service, man. That. Uh, that's something that's uh, that's that's very near and dear to my heart. I um, I appreciate it. Appreciate, I appreciate it. everything. Thank you. Um, so, well, hey, Mike, we we appreciate uh, playing with you, uh, taking the time for the interview. Interview, great, great interview. Um, uh, epic. Oh man. Slash that Amazing. Just epic. Yeah. Um, and and thank you, and thank you for taking the time to come out here and and do this with us. Uh, um, uh, it's just a great pleasure to play with you always. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. You guys did a great job.